Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. In this session, we will explain you creating and assigning resources in Primavera P6. Let's see an example. Look at this activity, shear wall reinforcement for ground floor. To perform this activity, we require 6 days. To do this activity, we require steel. 8 mm we require 6.7 metric ton. 10 mm we require 3.98. 12 mm 3 metric ton. 16.26 metric ton. 20 mm 0.46 metric ton. And total we require 14.45 metric ton. I arrived this calculation from structural drawings and we require binding wire of 500 kg. I arrived this calculation based on productivity and we require 12 fitter and helper. Let's have a look at how I arrived this calculation. It's based on productivity. One fitter and one helper can give an output of 200 kg per day. So to perform 14.45 metric ton of steel, we require 14.450 kg divided by 200 that gives you 72 fitter and helper per day. So for 6 days, we require 72 divided by 6 that makes 12 fitter and 12 helper. So this is the calculation. And we require one bar bending machine, also one project engineer and one supervisor. So these are the resources required to perform shear wall reinforcement for ground floor. So in Primavera, we have to create this much resources. Now let's see an another calculation for assigning resources. So see this example. Let's assume two supervisors are working for this activity for 6 days. Wall reinforcement, 6 days. Day 1, two supervisors are working. Day 2, again 2. Day 3, day 4, day 5 and day 6. So how you assign resources? In Primavera, you can enter this value as budgeted units per time that is 2 units per day or you can enter this value as budgeted units as 12 units. The program is calculating based on this equation. Budgeted units per time multiplies activity duration gives you budgeted units and budgeted units times price per unit gives you budgeted cost. So this is how program calculates. Let's open Primavera and see how this works. Look at this example. So to create a new resource, you have to click resource button. So it will go to a window where you can see all the resources in the project. So to create a new resource, you can press add. And press move button and make it in the left side. Name it as your project name because the first project you have to give the project name because it's a dummy resource. We, cre we are creating this resource only to assign the calendar so that every resource that created under this will follow the calendar. Go to details and check the calendar. Here it's following a different calendar. Change it to our project calendar SSAP project calendar. So that's it. So this is why we create dummy resource. Press add again. You can see the new resources that created under this project is following the calendar. Name it as bar bender. After that go to units and prices. Enter maximum units per time. I have already explained you what is maximum units. The maximum supply of bar bender in your company. Then enter the price per unit that is $50 per day. Then create another resource. It's carpenter. Go to maximum units per time. Change it to 60 because my company can supply maximum of 60 carpenter per day and the price of each carpenter is $40 per day. Press add again. Name it as fitter. Go to units and prices, change maximum units per time and price per unit.
press add again now we'll create a material that is steel to change its type to material you have to go to details and change it to material so you'll be getting a warning message say yes after that go to unit and measure and change its measurement unit as metric ton and press add again you can create more material under steel so under steel I'm going to add as 8 mm dia its material change unit of measure to metric ton go to units and prices and just change its price because for materials you don't want to enter maximum units per time just enter its cost and the unit of measure 10 mm the cost is 350 per metric ton go to 12 mm change the cost and unit of measure its metric ton and the cost is 350 this is just an example 16 mm go to details and change the unit of measure as metric ton go to units and price and change its cost 350 same goes for 20 mm actually there is an easy way to change the unit of measure that one I will explain you in another session 25 mm change the unit of measure to metric ton again units and prices 350 per metric ton so that's it so we have created the materials next we'll create a known labor we can change to a non labor because this is a bar bending machine bar bending machine for bar bending machine you have to give the maximum units here it is 2 says that we have two machines and the cost you can give per day per month or whatever here I have given 600 which is lot more than but this is an example press add again change it back to labor because we need two engineers as well that is project engineer which in our company we have 10 and the price per unit is 200 Press that again. Supervisor. It's labor type. We have a maximum of 20 and the price of each supervisor is 150 per day. So that's how we create the resources. The major thing is for every resource you have to check the calendar because if it follows a different calendar there will be a conflict while you schedule the project. Next let's see how we assign these resources to the activity. To assign resources you have to go back to activities. After that choose the activities that you want to assign resource. So on the ground floor we are going to assign resources for wall reinforcement select the activity and go to resource tab and check the columns resource ID name maximum units check the columns is in this order if you want to change you can right click and customize it you can select the columns I advise you all to select the columns in this order 
then press OK. After that, add resource and add the resources that drives the activity wall reinforcement. So steel, you require 10 mm, 12 mm, 16, 20. And we need a project engineer, we need a supervisor, bar bending machine, we need a fitter. After adding all, close it. So we have assigned the resources to these activities. After that, change the budgeted units. Means how much resource is required to perform this activity. So I have already described the difference between budgeted units per time and budgeted units. So 10 mm steel we require 6 tens, 12 mm, 3, then 2, 20 mm we require 2, and we need one project engineer, and one supervisor, one bar bending machine, and 12 feeder. So this is how we assign the resources. Now we can see the cost. 2 times 350 makes 700. 3 times 350 makes 1050. So this is how program calculates. Budgeted units times price per unit makes budgeted cost. So check the cost whether it is arriving in correctly and if you want to remove any resource you can just simply press remove and say yes say yes again and if you want to add that again again press add resource choose the resource and press add so this is how we assign the resource After that add a column, budgeted total cost by right click and select column, add a column budgeted total cost, under cost, budgeted total cost and press apply. Now you can see program has arrived the cost that is $6,040 for wall reinforcement activities. So this is how we assign the resource. So hope you understand how to create resources and assign resources. Thank you.